All right, here we are checking out this 1990 GMC Sierra SLE 4x4 regular cab step side with a 5.7 liter and a manual transmission. If you're looking at this video and you're looking at this truck, you likely know what a rare find this is, especially with only 40 some thousand miles on it. To be in this condition, uh, you just can't find these trucks anymore. So the purpose of this video though, is not to hype the truck up. Obviously there's a lot to hype about it. Uh, but essentially what I wanna do is make sure that if you're looking at this video, you're probably considering the truck and you're probably not from around where we are. So I wanna make sure you know exactly what you're getting when the truck arrives. So I'm gonna pick it apart essentially. Try to go through and find any of the cosmetic blemishes that I can. Uh, we're gonna start on the windshield and looking at it from the driver's side, I'm not seeing any rock chips, nothing, uh, no cracks. All the seals around the windshield look fantastic. You see the wiper blades and the wiper blade arms are in good shape. You see the pin number down there? I don't know if you can see it from this angle. All right, so the windshield looks good. Let's take a look at the hood. This truck has not been detailed, by the way, so you're seeing it how we got it. Uh, whoever buys the truck, we will do a full detail for you, but I wanted you to see exactly what it looked like before the detail so you don't think we're trying to hide anything. There's a little bit of touch up here. I don't know if you can see it. They did a pretty good color match. So there's a little touch up paint right there. Uh, I'm not really seeing any rock chips on the front. Maybe a little bit of touch up here. You can see the headlights aren't cracked or broken. A little bit of fading. Not as bad as I've seen on other trucks, but a little bit of fading. Those could probably be buffed out, brought back. And if I'm not mistaken, if you wanted to uh, replace them with some newer, uh, newer ones, it's not that expensive. The grill's nice. It's not broken. Uh, the logo's in good shape. I don't see any break, broken parts on the uh, on the grill. The chrome bumper is not looking like it's pitted. Doesn't look like there's really any rust showing up there at all. The hooks on the front that are in really good shape and even that black plastic underneath look at this just fantastic fantastic condition all the chrome looks really nice we're gonna polish it up but it doesn't again there's it does not broken there's no rust all right so there's your front I've spent enough time on the front of the truck looking down the side for any dents or dings I'm not seeing any from this angle I'll take another look as we get closer this is your driver's side front wheel Tires are basically brand new. Look at the tread depth on the tires. Basically brand new tires. Not seeing any rust underneath there. All the molding is in great shape. Looks like whatever clear piece they use here is just cracking a little bit, but no rust. Side steps. No rust inside the gas cap. A little bit of wear on the SLE badge. This has vent visors that look like they've been on there for a little while, so I'm assuming at one point they were black, but they look like they might be a little faded. We're gonna polish up the chrome mirrors because they got some bugs on there, but we'll polish those up. But again, no rust. Check out the top, the roof, great shape. Looks like there's some touch up paint here from some surface scratches. We'll try to see what we can do about buffing those out. All the trim around the rear window in fantastic shape. Check out the bed. So this did not have a bed liner in it, but it did have this mat. So the underside, I can pull this up. Let me tail it down so you can see what it looks like. The underside is almost like brand new. We thought about painting the the inside of the bed and decided to let the new owner do what they will with that. So here the back bumper, there is a little bit of wear here on this black plastic. I'm trying to probably step up and down or get in, things in and out. The tow hitch looks brand new. I don't know the age of it, but it looks like it hasn't been on there very long. Rear bumper, all the chrome is in great condition. Tail lights, again, not cracked or broken. All the tread depth on the tires are really, really good. 
your rear tires there. It's got a newer Flowmaster exhaust. You can see from under here, and we got some pictures of underneath as well, so you can check that out. This is the passenger side rear wheel. Going down the passenger side again. Looks like there's some touch up here. This SLE badge is in much better shape than the one on the other side. All the trim again in great shape. And then the driver's, I'm sorry, passenger side front wheel. All right, let's go inside. And then I'll do a start and I'll pop the hood for you so you can check out the engine. Again, we haven't detailed it, so don't know what it's gonna look like under there, but. All right, so going inside. Check out the condition of the front seats. No rips, no tears, no burns, no funky odor. Dashboard's not cracked. All the buttons look fantastic. Everything is in great shape. There's your five speed with the four by four on the floor. It's got an aftermarket Pioneer stereo. I'll show you that all the power, uh, power components work, the windows, the locks. Everything functions as it should. Let me start it up for you. 45,392 miles. Starts right up. Shut the radio off. AC blows ice cold. Check the power windows. Goes down. Goes up. I'll show you that on the passenger side as well. No worries there. And up. All good. Power locks. So let's go check out underneath the hood. We had a full service done, an inspection done on this truck. Passed with flying colors. Again, we have not detailed this yet. We wanted to show you what the engine looked like when we got the truck. Looks like a new battery in March. SLE 4x4 regular cap step side 5.7 liter with 5 speed transmission. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you consider the truck. It is really a phenomenal truck. I drove this home the other day and the power is insane with the stick shift and the 5.7. Let us know if you have any other questions. Thank you.